Now this will be used to remove any embers inside the barrel, but if he does find anything today, it will be some historically inaccurate aluminum foil. <laughs> you see, we wrap our charges in aluminum foil today rather than the more historically accurate muslin fob. It's a piece of sheep wool tacked on the end of the ramrod, so this will be used to douse him potential sparks or embers in water before we put in that next charge gunpowder, of which we are now able to load in the charge. Now, normally, in a combat scenario, you're going to require a crew of nine men to fire this cannon. You would have one man on the auger, one man on the wet swab and rammer, one that would be thumb stalling, one that would be handling the charge, and another four that would be uh, rolling this cannon into firing position along with a commander. So you will be reliably able to load and fire this cannon in said combat scenario about once a minute. Granted, you could increase the rate of fire if you got rid of the safety procedures, but that does also mean that you run the risk of simply damaging the gun, as well as, of course, injuring your cannon crew, which you do not want to happen. But now that we have the cannon loaded, we are now ready to push the cannon forward and into the firing position. To the front, march! Now, all that's left to do is to prime the cannon. So at this stage, Stephen is going to be taking a brass spike that is known as a gimlet. He's going to be running it down the touch hole in the rear of the cannon, which will poke a hole into the cannon charge, revealing the gunpowder and making way for our ignition device. Now, that device we are using today is the same ignition device they would have used back in the 1880s, which is what's called a friction primer. Now the friction primer is simply just a small brass tube that is filled with very fine gunpowder. At the top there is a chemical that is known as fulminate of mercury and it has a pin running through it. So think of it like a rather small grenade. The idea is that we're going to pull the pin and that will create friction in the fulminate of mercury. That in turn is going to create sparks. Those sparks and light up the gunpowder inside the tube which will send a small explosion down to the barrel which will ignite the main cannon charge for us all today. But now that we are ready to go, it is also at this time I have to remind you that this is a cannon. While most of the sound will go out into the harbor, it will still be quite loud. So I do recommend that you either copy your ears or get your cameras ready, whatever your priorities may be. <laughs> 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 and now there are only two commands left to fire the cannon. They are ready! Emerald ears. Fire! Oh. Well, uh, let's try this again. Yeah. Here we go. Cover your ears again. 